hey, Mr. Gardeners, I had a customer come into the office and show us an insect that I didn't know what it was. And it was a ladybug. Can you believe I didn't know what a ladybug is? But I do know what a ladybug is. But in case you don't know, it goes through a metamorphic cycle where there's four different life stages. And I was looking at the pupa stage and I didn't know what it was because I hadn't seen it before. So I drove out here and I want to show it to you so that you also know how to identify it. So come on up. Let's take a view at this. I'll show you a couple of them. This is what they brought into the office. See the little lady these are the pupa stages of a ladybug. They're little orange. They're a little bit bigger, I think, than the regular ladybug. There they are on the foliage of the strawberry plant. And what they have most frequent here in the at the greenhouse, or this is really a high tunnel, they have these little larvae. Here's the little alligator larva. Let me show you a couple more alligator larva. Come on over here. Let's see if we can find them in my bag. Look at him on the edge of my paper there. Can you see that little alligator? He looks like an alligator and people are not sure what they are when they find them in their greenhouses or on their plants. Here's another view of the pupa. See, he's kind of chubby and rounded. So that's what had me confused. So there's some facts about ladybugs and you know, they're called ladybugs they're called ladybugs, but in fact, we shouldn't call them ladybug because they're not a true bug. And they're called lady beetles and they're not really true beetles either. So we should call them ladybird. Did I say that right? They're not a ladybug. They're not a ladybird because they're not a bird, but they are a lady beetle. So that's the proper term that we should use for them. And the client was also concerned that they were the Asian ones, which are the invasive species. And they can tend to congregate in our homes and become a little bit of a nuisance pest inside. Well, those are still beneficial insects. And the fact that they still, both the adult ladybug and the pupa, not the pupil, but the larva all eat the insects. So here in this greenhouse, this a high tunnel where they're growing strawberries and raspberries. Even if they're Asian ladybugs, they're still to their benefit to have those here. And if they're in your house, you've probably noticed that they release a little bit of a liquid if you agitate them and they can put a stain in your curtains and all. So the best thing to do is get a little vacuum and vacuum them up. That's the better control. There's all different kinds of ladybugs, thousands of types. Some have more dots than others. They're identified by that. They come in all different colors. So you'll have to do some research if you want to identify what type of lady bug that you have but those are just some fun facts so the number one thing is don't kill them when they're in that alligator form because they're eating at least 40 aphids a day that's their most common food that the uh, ladybird beetle wants to eat is aphids so you want them they eat aphids they'll eat scales they'll eat thrips and they'll eat spider mites so all of our common insects in the summer are eaten by these little ladybugs so you always want to encourage them and learn to identify all the body parts